That's 14-year-old Peter Haas where he belongs, in the batting cages at baseball practice. Not, his family says, on an international database containing the names of known or suspected terrorists. It's pretty alarming to hear this. Alarming considering Peter is still in braces, not even old enough to drive, known as the rule follower in his family of four. Yet when he was passing through Logan International Airport last week to fly to Florida on a baseball trip. They said my pass was flagged and they would have to take me aside for extra screening and a pad down. Then began searching everywhere. Kind of opened up his phone to see if there was anything there and then um, rubbing him down for bomb residue and that kind of stuff. This wasn't a routine thing, that this was him on a watch list. Peter was eventually allowed to board and said agents were pleasant and helpful throughout. As for how his name even ended up on that list, the FBI Boston Division told News 9 it couldn't comment on Peter's case. Meanwhile, he's already looking ahead to upcoming trips, hoping he'll be clear to take. So we're hoping that, you know, I can get into everything without any trouble. Scary for him. They say they're taking this as a learning experience. Peter and his family have already filled out the paperwork to try and clear his name. The Haas family says they're in contact with Senator Maggie Hassan's office in the hope of getting his name off this list. Senator Hassan's office confirming they're helping the family. Live in the studio, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.